Hi, so this is the office space in my house that I'm going to give up shortly. Um, you can see the shelves back there are a little bit more of a mess than normal. I mean, not that I'm ever non-messy when it comes to a desk, but anyway. Um, I've gotten rid of a lot of it. I've got boxes and boxes of recycling. I'm making my radical life change. But that's not the point of what I want to talk about here. What I want to talk about here is the difficulty. I mean, I'm a, just about 51-year-old um, man that grew up here on the west coast of North America. And as a society, men are supposed to be strong. Men are supposed to be stoic. You know, it's, uh, I have an ex-mother-in-law who, you know, looked at me and like, well, you got sick. That's some sort of moral failing on your part if I got the flu. So you can imagine when, you know, people look at you going, why can't you just tough it out if you're feeling a bit sick? To admit that you have something going on inside your head that's not good. The first time I had a major depression issue, um, I was about 19 at the time and came back from university and to my home and I uh, spoke with my mother. And to say my mother was not sympathetic was certainly uh, would be understating it. My father was. I think my father suffered from depression his whole life. Not that I think he ever did anything about it or admitted it or at, at all. But when I talked to him about it, he quietly, when we were downstairs and away from my mother, talked about how bad it was for him uh, post-war, how he'd considered committing suicide at that point, um, and that, you know, but we never talked about it again. My mother certainly more or less made it sort of like, yeah, uh, depression is not something I can really talk about or admit to um, as long as she's around because she doesn't get it. And the hard part is for my parents um, and their generation, so my aunts and uncles, um, and even the older generation of my grandparents, what they went through um, between about 1943 and about 1946-47 was horrific. Um, they lost everything several times over in some cases. Should I even start in 1939 when they were expelled from, from the country they lived in? Their lives were constantly being destroyed by society around them, by the war around them. And at the end of the war, they were living in a country that was ruins. I mean, it was hard to believe or think of anything that could be significantly worse than what happened to them. And they persevered through it. They managed to get through it. They managed to be decent, normal, capable human beings, which then, for me, always the subtext was. And it wasn't the subtext I was getting from them. It was the subtext I read out of it going, what the hell is wrong with me? That when I have everything going for me that I can't deal with it, that I have this depression, that I feel like this, what's wrong with me? Why can't I? You know, if my forefathers of the previous two generations before me could handle something as monumental as the complete and total destruction of everything that they lived with and their and 700 years of family lifestyle if they could deal with that why can't I deal with this it's this sort of subtext and the general subtext in um, North American society that has always been there that men to me to be strong and stoic and certainly men certainly don't have um, mental issue problems. Um, that's not something they should have. They should be able to deal with it. They should get through it. Get over it. Just make yourself happy. Just be better. Fake it till you make it. Whatever. That pervasive subtext of it's a moral failing on your part if you can't figure out how to manage it. It's something that very much stops you from doing anything about it. it stops you from speaking out about it. Because it's it internalizes that um, the problem is something fundamentally wrong with you that you should be able to fix and that it's not the business of you know it, it you know and if you can't you know once again it's a moral fail this has made it hard i mean it made it very hard for years and years for me to admit anything like depression and since then it's been hard to figure out how to start dealing with it when i'm just trying to power through it my battle of the psalm analogy throw a few more troops into it fling a bit more at it it's a losing cause and i'm having mass casualties but Sure, eventually it'll work. No, it doesn't. It's stupid. It's irrational. And it's taken me a long time to accept the fact that, yeah, I am this screwed up. I have this depression that bad. And that I have to find a way to deal with it, something different. Anyway, that's where I'm at. Thanks a lot. I'd love any comments below, any thoughts, whatever, you know.